हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्लास थ्री ऑफ केमिकल काइनेटिक्स एंड फॉर क्लास वन एंड क्लास टू लिंक इज प्रोवाइडेड इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स Today we'll study about second order reaction and kinetic characteristics of second order reaction. A reaction is said to be second order when rate of reaction is proportional to the second power of concentration of reactant. Now, in second order reaction there are two parts, two reactant with equal initial concentration and two reactant with unequal initial concentration but in our syllabus there is only first part that is two reactant with equal initial concentration so now we'll study about integrated rate equation for second order reaction with equal initial concentration Consider the reaction A plus B gives product. Initially, when time equals to zero, concentration of both the reactants are equal. That is, A moles per dm cube and A moles per dm cube. Initially, formation of product is zero moles per dm cube. After time t, if x moles per dm cube of product is formed, then amount of remaining reactant is a minus x that is concentration of reactant both the reactant after time t is a minus x moles per dm cube now integrated rate equation for second order reaction now over here we know that rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant and we have two different reactant a and b but these two reactant have equal concentration so their concentration after time t is a minus x and a minus x if i remove this proportionality sign i'll put one constant k so this i call it as rate constant now what is rate increase in concentration of product that is dx by dt is equal to k into a minus x and a minus x it is equal to a minus x whole square in next step i'll rearrange this i'll bring this a minus x whole square on this side so it comes in denominator 1 upon a minus x square into dx equals to k into dt over here rate is dx by dt so dt comes this side in next step i'll integrate this 1 upon a minus x whole square into dx k into dt now initially time was zero and finally it reached to t initially concentration of product was zero and it reached to x over here integration of 1 upon a minus x square now what is integration of 1 upon x square integration of 1 upon x square it is equal to minus 1 upon x So integration of one upon a minus x whole square is equal to minus one upon a minus x, and derivative of minus x it is equal to minus one equals to k into integration of dt is only equal to t along with this limit that is zero to x and over here zero to t. So it becomes minus minus plus one upon a minus x. Zero to x k into over here t zero to t. Then I'll say upper limit minus lower limit. Once I'll substitute x, 
in place of x and second time I'll substitute 0 in place of x. So it becomes 1 upon a minus x upper limit minus 1 upon a minus 0 that is lower limit k into t minus 0. So it becomes 1 upon a minus x minus 1 upon a equals to k into t. So this equation we have to remember because this equation will be using in graphical representation. Further, on equalizing denominator of this in this way. So it becomes a minus a minus x upon a into a minus x equals to k into p. Then it becomes a minus it becomes a minus x again i am writing the same step over here a into a minus x equals to kt after opening this bracket a minus a and minus minus plus x upon a into a minus x equals to kt minus and plus a get cancelled p comes as said it becomes 1 upon a t into x upon a into sorry this is a minus x equals to k so this is final equation 1 upon a t into x upon a minus x so this equation we call it as integrated rate equation for second order reaction k equals to 1 upon a t x upon a minus x x is formation of product and a minus x is concentration of reactant after time t and a is called as initial concentration of reactant. Kinetic characteristics of second order reaction. It includes unit of rate constant, half life and graphical representation. Now in kinetic characteristics, first I'll start with unit, that is unit of rate constant for second order reaction, not for first order reaction. So first I'll write equation for rate constant for second order reaction, that is 1 upon a t into x upon a minus x. Over here. A is concentration of reactant, so concentration is in terms of moles per reactant. Time is in terms of second. X, it is concentration of product or it is product, its unit is again moles per dm cube. This is also concentration of product, sorry, concentration of reactant after time P. So it is also moles per dm cube. Get cancelled. So it is equal to dm cube minus it goes in numerator it becomes plus mole it becomes per mole and per second so unit of rate constant for second order reaction is dm cube per mole per second now second is half life half life for second order reaction now what is half life half of the reactant gets converted into product so formation of product is a by 2 where a is initial concentration of reactant in this case t is replaced by t half if half of the product is formed then what is amount remaining that is concentration of reactant after time t it is also equal to a by 2 so first i'll write equation for rate constant k equals to 1 upon a t into x upon a minus x what is x it is product formation and what is a minus x it is concentration of reactant after time t fine so over here 1 upon a into t is replaced by t half formation of product is a by 2 
if half of the product is formed then half amount is remaining so this is equal to a by 2 a by 2 a by 2 get cancelled so t half i'll bring on left hand side so t half equals to 1 upon a k so if i remove this proportionality sign sorry if i remove this constant i can put this proportionality sign so over here we can remember that half life for second order reaction is inversely proportional to the initial concentration of reactant now third we shall see about graphical representation so first was unit of rate constant second was half life and third is graphical representation so for graphical representation again i'll recall this equation for rate constant for second order reaction 1 upon at x upon a minus x so i'll write it as k at at comes on left hand side and x upon a minus x now again on rearranging this x upon a minus x equals to k at now this equation is in the form of y equals to mx which indicates the line passing through origin that is if i plot a graph of graph of what on y axis x upon a minus x versus on x axis t will come so it is a straight line passing through origin and slope of that line is that is m m equals to ka slope equals to ka so this is first part that is graphical representation in second part we'll directly recall that old equation that is 1 upon a minus x minus 1 upon a equals to kt so from where we got this equation from equation a that is while deriving integrated rate equation for second order reaction now 1 upon a minus x 1 upon a goes that side so it becomes kt plus 1 upon a now this equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so via m m is positive so if we plot a graph of graph of what 1 upon a minus x versus on x axis t is there so graph of 1 upon a minus x versus t it is a line which is having intercept of intercept on y axis but slope is positive in this way so this is intercept on y axis that is c and it is equal to 1 upon a and slope of this line is equal to k slope equals to k so over here a plot of 1 upon a minus x versus t if that line gives a positive slope with intercept of 1 upon a on y axis and a graph of x upon a minus x versus t it is a straight line passing through origin having slope equals to ka so these are the three kinetic characteristics for second order reaction